be doing some um, of my collection videos. I'm going to go through each thing that I have and first I'm going to start with foundation. We are currently in the process of moving so a lot of the videos that you're going to be seeing are going to be pre-recorded for the entire next month. Um, I think all of these will be pre-recorded. Um, I'm going to be doing it kind of as I'm packing. Um, that way I can go through each and every product. Um, but first we're going to start off with foundation, so let's get started. My first foundation today is currently my number one favorite, so I figured I'd start out with it. It is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Um, it is right here. This is the Ultra HD. I have not tried um, just the HD foundation. I probably should, but this is the only one I've ever tried. I love it. Um, I've heard that it's just as good, if not better, so I've just stuck with this one instead of buying both of them, um, but I love this this foundation. I am currently still in my winter shade even though it's starting to become summer now but I really need to get outside but I am currently in the shade um, 117 or Y225 but I love this foundation. Um, I usually use three pumps on the back of my hand and then I can use it with a beauty blender, a foundation brush, I can use it with my oval 8 brush. I can basically apply this with whatever I want. Um, I've never tried it with my fingers but any brush, any beauty blender, any sponge, anything like that, this foundation is going to apply evenly and smoothly. Um, it lasts all day. I've worn it for at least 12 hours is usually what I would wear my makeup for and I've noticed it lasting all of that time. I don't get oily with it. I don't normally have oily or dry skin or anything like that, but I don't have any problems with it. I don't notice it sweating off. I don't notice any issues with this foundation whatsoever. I have zero complaints about this foundation. I absolutely love it. It is more on the expensive side. Expensive side. Um, it is around $45, I believe, but for a foundation, I don't care to spend more just because it's something that I would wear every single day. So I want to make sure that my face is taken care of. Um, but our next foundation is going to be another one that I really like that is actually more um, inexpensive. And this one is actually kind of a surprise to me that I liked it. I purchased it online. I believe it's around $10 at Ulta. Um, and it is the Ulta BB Cream. And this is in the shade Light. It's also another one of my current shades. Um, I am on the fair side right now but this is the foundation that I am currently wearing um, it is a very light coverage um, but it does I don't really have any issues with my skin um, I have a few imperfections right now just like little pimples or anything like that um, but it covers them pretty well as long as I have a concealer on over them first um, so basically anything like that it doesn't really bother me um, but yeah I really like this foundation I like the coverage of it it lasts I'd say about eight hours um, so it doesn't last as long as the ultra HD but it is a BB cream this does have an SPF of 20 in it so that is good as well and it is more inexpensive so if you're not wanting to spend as much as the other I see this is definitely a good um, BB cream to try especially with the summer I like it because BB creams are usually a little bit lighter um, even though the Ultra HD foundation is a very light foundation so I do like that as well um, I have where is my MAC Studio Fix. This is my summer shade. It is way too dark for me right now. Um, it is a very heavy foundation. Um, it is definitely a full coverage foundation. Um, so I don't like to, necessarily wearing this in the summer when I know I'm going to be outside all day. I think it's too heavy for that. Um, I don't like wearing it because I know when I'm going to sweat. I can kind of feel it on my face and I don't like to be able to feel my foundation. I do like this foundation though. Don't take me wrong. This is an SPF of 30 or 15 I'm sorry um, and this is in the shade NC 20 so this is definitely my summer shade you can tell it is way too dark um, against my skin tone right now but this is definitely a full coverage foundation um, I don't notice it getting too cakey or anything like that I think I had I can't remember the name of it but it was another Mac and it was like the water um, drip it had the little 
drip to it and I can't remember I will have it up here the name of it whenever I can look it up um, and I noticed like just a few drops of that I actually returned it because it was way too cakey on my face I did not like it at all um, and actually all MAC products I really do like that I've tried other than that one so I just it, I don't know if it was just my type of skin but it did not work for me at all but I really like this foundation um, I just am not the color of it right Right now but this is another more expensive product and it's not as expensive as the makeup forever this one's more will run you around thirty dollars but um, I also did purchase the pump um, it does not come with this foundation and I think that's another three or five dollars as well but you can move it from every foundation so you don't have to repurchase this every time then here is another ultra foundation and I have another BB cream and this is in the shade medium at the time of purchase I think you got buy three get one free so I got the shade medium um, just because I ordered them online and I wasn't sure which one I would be um, and two during the summer I'd be darker anyway so that way I'd go ahead and have a backup if I needed a darker shade of it and then I also got the Double Duty um, by Ulta, and this is a primer and foundation, and this is in the shade Creamy Natural. This is a little bit too dark for me. It's kind of in between my summer and um, winter shade, um, but I like this foundation. Um, it's another one that's around $9. I don't like it as well as the BB Cream. It's a little bit thicker. Um, because it is the primer as well um, but for the overall coverage it's pretty heavy um, it's okay I don't usually go for this I'm um, actually I might get rid of it I mean it's I like it but it's not something I usually grab just because it is so heavy and kind of cakey on the skin um, but it's not a terrible for nine dollars it's not terrible but it's definitely not one of my favorites and not one that I would normally grab I think I've used it once or twice whereas all the other ones it's something I've used multiple times um, but this foundation is not god-awful but it's not something I would use on a day-to-day -day basis it's not something that I would normally use it's more of oh I ran out of something I would go for this one um, so it's definitely not one of my favorites it's not something I would normally grab so I might actually pass this on to someone maybe if you had oilier skin that would kind of break down the foundation this might be better but for me um, with my drier skin and patches I feel like it kind of clings to it then my next, um, one of my other favorite foundations that I kind of feel is a little bit comparable to the um, MAC Studio Fix is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is another one that's in a summer shade. I bought a lot of these foundations last summer, um, so I probably will end up buying um, some of them in a lighter shade next winter um, but this is in the shade 105 natural beige um, I really like this foundation it is again full coverage um, but it is definitely full matte like it says um, and it does last it says it lasts 24 hours I um, haven't worn it for 24 hours obviously I don't wear my foundation for 24 hours I make sure I wash it off at night but I would definitely say that it lasts 12 hours um, through the entire day that I would normally wear it. Um, I do feel that sometimes at the end of the night it can get like a little bit cakey if you have drier patches of skin. Um, so you might just want to make sure that you moisturize well underneath before you apply this. But overall I really do like this a foundation and it is definitely a cheaper um, option compared to the matte um, Studio Fix foundation. You can get this at the drugstore and I think it's um, definitely under $15. I'm thinking it's around $12 or $13. I don't remember because I bought this last summer, but it's definitely a good comparable option to the MAC foundation. Another drugstore foundation that I have is the Revlon Airbrush Effect Photo Ready. This is another one that's in the summer shade, um, even I think a little bit darker than some of the other ones, so it is way not my color right now. Uh, but this is in the shade shell 
um, and it is an SPF of 20. I like this foundation. Um, I used it quite a bit in the summer. I really do like it for photography. I don't notice any flashback with it. That would be my main use for this foundation. Um, other than that, for the summer, I would really go more for, I think, the MAC or my um, Infallible Matte Foundation over this one. But for photography, I would probably grab this one over the other two. But other than that, I definitely like the other ones better. Um, this is another one that is pretty inexpensive since it is um, drugstore. I think it's around $15. Um, but overall, I like this foundation. Another very inexpensive, this is a more luminous foundation than all of the others. Um, I believe this one is actually around $4. It's very inexpensive. Um, most Rimmel London Cosmetics um, products are, and it's a little bit lighter, um, but it's still not my winter shade. It is in this shade 240 Soft Beige, and it is their Matte Perfection um, Broad Spectrum in the SPF 18. It is a light perfecting radiant sunscreen foundation. This one um, would definitely give you probably some flashback in photography, so I would not recommend it for that, but if you're wanting a very luminous foundation, um, that would be this one. It is very watery, though. So be careful whenever like I've applied it to the back of my hand. It runs out very quickly and it can be messy. Um, I would definitely like this one better if it had a pump because of that. But I like this one. But I like this foundation. It's very lightweight, once again. Um, but it's a very just luminous foundation for the price. I really do like this foundation as well. Then I have two e.l.f. foundations. These are both exactly the same. They're just different shades, so I'll show them both at the same time. They are the e.l.f. Moisturizing Stick Foundations. One is in this shade Natural, and the other is in the shade Honey. I got these to try a stick foundation. Um, a lot of people love the, or the Ultra HD stick foundations um, and so I wanted to try this out so I got the shades kind of close together to try them um, how I believe it's Nikki Tutorials does with the two different shades kind of as a contouring technique where she does the outer shades darker and the inners um, lighter so I wanted to try that with these um, I like these I really feel like there's a lot of transferring though with these products they were both like three dollars or six dollars a piece so I mean to try it out. I don't think it was bad at all. Um, I'm not sure that I like stick foundation. I just, I'm not a huge fan of stick foundation overall. At least with these, I probably should purchase the Ultra HD and give it a try, but they're very expensive, so if I ended up not liking them, I guess I could return them, but I hate to spend $40 on a stick, especially if I have to buy two to try that technique and it'd be, end up being like $80 for foundation. Um, but Overall, these aren't bad, especially for six bucks, um, but they kind of make my pores, I feel like, look a little bit bigger, and um, I feel like they transfer, so you definitely want to set them with a powder, but that's really the only two downsides that I have to these foundations. They are definitely very moisturizing, so if you had dry skin, I feel like you would definitely really like these. Oily skin, definitely a no, um, but overall, they're not terrible. They're just definitely not my most favorite foundation. Um, but for three dollars you can't beat it then I have my Maybelline dream matte mousse foundation I used to use this foundation in high school all the time um, I believe it's a eight dollar foundation at the drugstore I purchased it as an in-between um, whenever I was waiting to get the makeup forever HD foundation um, and I like this foundation once I can get it onto my skin. It is a pain though because it's a mousse and it wants to like ball up the little mousse part trying to get it to apply on. Um, so it ends up getting all over the place so it's really kind of a pain to apply. And But once you get it on it's very lightweight. Um, it's very moisturizing to the skin but I don't really use it now just because I hate the way it applies, because it's annoying, it drives me crazy, it's messy, that's really the only thing, um, but in high school, I loved it, now, it drives me nuts. <laughs> And that is all of my foundations. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first part of my collections video. And I will um, 
I'm not sure what I'll do next. Probably be another face, um, maybe bronzers. And I'll probably condense my bronzers and setting powders just because I don't have a lot of setting powders, so it would be a really quick video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.